With Christmas past and spring not yet come, we may find ourselves in a period of desiring freshness in our homes while longing for lingering touches of warmth and coziness. Today I'll be sharing a few projects to freshen our homes, as well as tips to stay cozy in this season. I hope you'll join me. I'm not usually one to decorate for every little holiday, but I do enjoy adding fun touches, especially when they are versatile. This little no so heart garland is a quick and easy project that can really be used any time of year, depending on the fabric that you choose. I had this vintage style ticking left over from an upholstery project and thought the neutral colors would flow easily from one season to the next. To begin, use a heart-shaped cookie cutter or other template to trace hearts onto your fabric. To cut down on time and effort, I folded the fabric in half and cut two hearts at once, leaving them connected at the bottom. To hang this garland, you can use twine or ribbon. Line up your hearts, then simply hot glue the twine across the upper portion of each heart. Next, hot glue the second heart on top, but leave a small opening for filling if desired. They don't need to be filled, but I like the dimension it adds. After you've filled the hearts, close up the opening with a little more glue. It's really very simple, but I think an adorable touch. Back when I decorated for Christmas, I made my base layer simple winter decor and greenery so that later on I could strip away the overtly Christmas items and be left with cozy winter touches. Muted reds also carry perfectly into February and can be accentuated as a sweet Valentine's touch. Sometimes the simplest touches can have the biggest impact. Potted plants or fresh bouquets instantly add new life to a space. I found this little potted cedar at Trader Joe's and thought it would be a great way to freshen up the kitchen. A thrifted plate makes a great saucer for your pot. Just be sure to use one that's not special to you as it most likely will get scratched. Hanging a bundle of eucalyptus in our shower has been a favorite winter touch of mine the last several years. It not only looks lovely, but adds a wonderful aroma and soothing qualities to your shower experience. Just be sure to read my notes on eucalyptus in the description below, 
as it may not be a good idea for everyone. I also like to use this time to give my houseplants a trim and propagate the cuttings. It feels a bit like bringing the garden indoors. I use the cuttings to fill in my existing pots to make them look fuller and healthier. Pothos is a very easy houseplant to grow and propagate. You can find my short and simple video on propagating pothos in the description below. For a cozy cold weather drink, try this simple hot chocolate recipe that uses honey instead of processed sugar. Heat one cup milk of your choice until steaming but not boiling. Then whisk in one tablespoon cocoa powder, a tiny pinch of salt, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract or a small scraping from a vanilla bean, and one to two tablespoons of honey to taste. Pour into your favorite mug and enjoy. To add both freshness and coziness to my kitchen, I decided to make over this lampshade belonging to the little thrifted lamp on my counter. I wanted something warmer than the plain white, so I found this vintage fabric in a box in my basement, which I had purchased from a church rummage sale. This was a very simple DIY. I simply hot glued the fabric onto the lampshade, turning the fabric back every few inches to create a pleat. I continued on around the lampshade, gluing the fabric on underneath and gluing the pleats in place above as I went. Once I had worked my way around the entire lampshade, I trimmed the excess fabric off the top and bottom, leaving enough length to wrap around the top and bottom edges. I then used hot glue to secure the edges on the inside of the lampshade. This corner of my living room was another spot that needed some refreshing. I found this antique bridge lamp at the thrift store over a year ago and never found a lampshade for it that I liked or could afford. It may have originally had a glass shade, but I decided to make over this thrifted fabric shade that I found for just a few dollars. This beautiful blue and white twill was left over from my vintage chair upholstery project and seemed a perfect fit for this corner. After ironing the fabric, I cut strips that were the height of my lampshade and each four inches wide. I ironed under each side about half an inch to get a clean edge and then hot glued the pieces to the lampshade, overlapping them about an inch to achieve a pleated look. After I had attached all the pieces, I cut and ironed strips of fabric for edging and attached those to both the top and bottom edges of the shade.
This corner was in need of some fresh wall decor to replace the Christmas decor. I wanted to make this a zero cost DIY, so I dug around my basement and found this simple wooden frame. With a little paint, some aging wax, cardboard, some leftover scrapbooking cardstock, and a sweet illustration from the New York City Public Library's digital collection. It made a sweet and simple addition to this cozy corner in the making. I'd like to take a moment to share with you my friend Sarah over at Sarah's October Home. She has a lovely YouTube channel full of cottage style, thrifting and homemaking, all in a very soothing aesthetic. If you don't already subscribe to her channel, I encourage you to pop over and check it out because I'm sure you will love it as much as I do. Thank you so much for watching. I don't know if I'll be back on here before baby is born, but we shall see. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing for more cottage living and I'll see you next time.